Well, engine car compartment of a 1969 Camaro. It's uh, definitely a small block. I'm going to guess uh, 350 cubic inches, but I really don't know. It could be a 383. I know it's a small block, uh, but I'm going to guess it is a 350. Um, has an air gap, Edelbrock intake manifold performer on it. It has a vacuum Holly performance carburetor on it, but it does have vacuum secondaries and an electric choke on it also. It has a new alternator, it has new belts, power steering, power brakes, new two-stage master cylinder on it, windshield washer bottle, the correct big block style radiator that goes with this with the correct uh, fan shroud on it also. And I don't know what they've done. They put an electric fan on it as opposed to the mechanical fan. They eliminated the mechanical fan and put an electric fan on it with the correct shroud. So this thing will probably move some serious air. It does have a set of uh, high temp coated uh, headers on it. Appear to be about, they're a little bigger. They look about an inch and uh, three quarters maybe. Thin Mickey Thompson valve pan covers. The uh, Heat to the passenger compartment is still intact and functional. A couple of chrome uh, strut uh, braces here on it, and also SS uh, polished filler panel here for the uh, front end to help uh, keep the air going into the radiator. It does have a coil induction hood on it. It does not have a coil induction air cleaner. They left it an open element air cleaner, uh, but you're still getting the benefit of uh, cold air coming in from the uh, uh, call induction to this vehicle. does have a set of uh, high temp silicon plug wires on it which are absolutely brand new. It has a uh, high energy coil on it. It also has a appears to be an HEI distributor, a billet distributor of some sort in it. Um, nice running car. Uh, it, it has nice sound to it. Uh, the engine compartment is nice and clean and crisp in it. The um, Bell pan covers don't show that they have any leakage whatsoever, and neither does the uh, timing chain cover in the front. Appears to be a newer water pump. This motor's obviously been freshly redone, and appears to be a new water pump in it. It does not have a battery mounted in the front here, although the tray is still here. The battery they've chose to, to uh, mount in the right rear, uh, which is the correct place to put it, you know, for weight uh, distribution. Um, Nice, nice clean engine compartment. New uh, fuel pump on it also, new radiator hoses, uh, top and bottom. I can't see anything out of place on this thing, I really can't. It has an under hood pad on it, has the correct style uh, semi-flat black inner fender panels and the uh, cowl area which still retains its uh, original cowl tag. A nice clean, clean engine compartment for this vehicle. I really can't see anything out of place. Everything's great underneath the hood. We'll see what else we can find for you. Hi, you're Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today our guest is a 1969 Camaro. It's an SS-style car. Uh, it's a great color combination. We're going to go over it with you and show you everything that I see cosmetically that we can point out and um, do an undercarriage uh, presentation, interior presentation, the drive, I'm going to show you everything we possibly can about the vehicle. So here we go. Obviously, coil induction hood with coil induction uh, designation on the side, just the way it should be. Rally green paint, and it is absolutely a foot deep. It's cleared over. Somebody did an exemplary job of painting this guy. It is really, really nice. Um, nice fitment of the hood up to the cowl area, as you can see across the front and on this side the same way. About an eighth of an inch, a little bit more, the whole way around it. Uh, couldn't ask for anything any better than that. And again, the paint on this thing is just exemplary. It, it's an absolute show quality type uh, paint job. Uh, Camaro designation on the front, brand new uh, emblem. There's no pitting or distortion or whatsoever in it. The uh, grill area, plastic SS designation. Uh, none of the uh, windows are broken or chipped on it whatsoever. Peekaboo headlights in this, so it is an RS car. Filler panel just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Bumper fitment. A little bit closer on that side than this side, but 
I don't even know if it warrants even an adjustment. Maybe a little tiny bit bring it out this way. I think that's where the, the adjustment needs to be, is bring this piece out just a little tiny bit, and then you'd have a perfectly fitting front bumper on this vehicle. Front fascia, panel in the front. The um, parking lights are nice and clean and clear the way they should be. Spoiler in the front, because there's a spoiler in the back, you've got to have them both. Uh, really nice front end of this car. I really don't see anything that's out of place. Uh, nice fitment, except for that bumper and that side just needs to be brought out just a hair more, or that one go in. One way or the other, it has to be adjusted uh, to make it spot on. It's probably well within uh, GM specs, production specs, but uh, we're going to adjust it one way or the other just to make it a lot better for you. There's absolutely nothing on the nose of this car. The paint is just flawless everywhere. We'll go down the side, see if we can find something there for you. Okay, driver's side. 350 designation, because it definitely is a small block. It's probably what it is at 350. Uh, side marker light, real nice and clean. No uh, pitting, no uh, patina whatsoever. Front panel, where it goes on to the front fender, real nice fitment. The uh, wheel edge, wheel well moldings, nice as can be. You would not fit them any better than that. Camaro SS on the side. And again, you can see the hood to the cowl, to the front fender, to the door, just as nice as you want. Front fender to the uh, door on this vehicle. The fitment is gorgeous on that, absolutely gorgeous. Correct wiper arms and the correct blades on this guy. Um, dashboard, there's no cracks or warpage whatsoever on it. The uh, Tin that goes up to the base of the windshield is nice and clean and clear as it should be. Your vent plate is just nice and clean. There's no rust or corrosion or whatsoever on it. Tinted windshield in the front. Uh, really a great looking uh, vehicle so far. Trim around this windshield is just distortion free. There's no chips, no dings whatsoever in it. I thought that was a scratch, it was a feather. Um, Correct style for 69, uh, rear view mirror. Someone's blackened the glass on this guy, but I mean, it's just their preference. You could always change it if you wanted to. New rubbers on this car also for your sealing of uh, the windows. And look at the fitment of the uh, door glass to the rear glass. It's just as nice as you'd ever want. Wipes, whiskers, uh, really nice condition. They've been uh, apparently been replaced. Door handle, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. That's really nice. Door to the uh, quarter panel. These are usually all pitted up. And the, this one is not. This one is about as nice as you're going to find one. It's really, really great condition. Drip rail. No dents, no dinghies whatsoever in it. And the roof, well, the roof's the roof. But... Um, there's usually not too much damage on a roof, but I don't see anything. There's no, uh, no like cloudiness whatsoever to the finish on this vehicle. There's no uh, a place where you can see splotching or anything from the uh, metallic that's in this rally green paint. That's as nice a finish as I've seen on a vehicle for a long time. Great combination. Trim around the back light. It's got a lot of uh, dark glass on the side and this back, so I can't even see the hat rack. So we'll have to take a look at it from the inside because I can't look down and see it through here. I'm sure you, when you're in the car you can see out, but you sure can't see in. That would be a personal preference. You know, if we're shipping this car to a state where this would not pass inspection, we're certainly going to have to remove this. Uh, we're in Florida, so every car in Florida has uh, uh, dark glass in it. but. It, again, you know, if this were going to go to Pennsylvania or Michigan or somewhere where we can't, or Maryland, which I know they don't accept this, um, we would have to remove that prior to shipment of the car so that it would pass your state inspection. Um, tin. No Bondo. Tin. Um, again, trim around the uh, back glass here is just as sweet as can be on this side. It looks to be the same way on the other side, but we'll get that over there. I don't see anything on the side of this car. Um, side marker light in the back, just the same as it uh, was in the front. The door fitment on this thing is really straight, really nice. 
especially for a Camaro. Usually we have to tweak them a little bit. This one we do not. The wheels on this are a set of rally wheels. They appear to be 8 inch in the back. And I'm going to call them sevens up front, but these are definitely eights in the back, probably off the Corvette. The hats in the center are 67 hats. Um, this is a 69 car. It should have the taller hats with the flutes in them. If someone, it's someone's preference. If they like the short hat that gives you a wider look to the wheel, we can leave it the way it is. If they would rather have the correct 69 style taller hats on, we have a set of those that we'll exchange for these. So that would be their own personal preference. Nice side of the car, uh, just a great combination with the white letter uh, Cooper Cobra tires on it. Uh, the rallies give it a nice stance, you know, eight inches in the back. Uh, great looking car, real nice fitment front, back, or sides, uh, nice as can be. Let's do the back end and see what we can find there. Okay, back end of our rally green Camaro. Um, the uh, paint on the back of this is just the way it was on the front. It's just Absolute show quality. It's absolutely gorgeous. It could not be any deeper or better uh, laid on than it is. The striping the same way. There's a lot of clear on this vehicle. There is um, what it is. A little tiny mark here. It's certainly nothing that you'd. Uh, I can't feel it, but I can see it. I don't know. It's something in the paint. I don't know what it is. Uh, fitment is really nice. The uh, spoiler in the back lines up just the way it should. Yeah, it's spot on. SS designation, again your uh, tail lights, and this is an RS car, so the RS car would have the uh, backup lights underneath the uh, rear bumper. Uh, the lights themselves, the uh, tail lights are very, very nice condition. The trim around them is just as nice as you're ever going to find. Yeah, there's no, uh, no pitting or anything in it whatsoever. Bumper fitment in the back is, that one's right on the money. Uh, the front one we got to tweak a little bit. That one we don't have to touch. That's as nice as it gets. Nice clear backup light lenses on the back. The uh, rear valance panel, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's no pulls or dents or yanks on it anywhere. It really, really looks good. SS designation again. This is a nice car. This is a really good looking car. Um, can't really tell you anything bad about the back. A, little, a mark that you're never going to see anyway. I can't even find it again. That's how bad that was. Okay, passenger side. Okay, passenger side of our little rally green guy. Tin everywhere. Just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Nice paint on this car. Really nice paint on this car. Trim around the back window on this side, same way. Uh, sail panel, the roof. I mean, there's not a distortion, not a mark. On a chip anywhere. Uh, wipes whiskers just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Wheel lip molding. Your slats, vents, whatever you want to call them on the side. Gills. Uh, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Again, nice fitment of the uh, front window to the uh, uh, rear glass. It's just as nice as you'd want. Your edge. Absolutely gorgeous. Chrome on the door handle, I'd say it's still original and good. And look at this. That is about the nicest fitting door on a Camaro, I think. God, that thing's really, really nice. Forgot to mention, it does have the uh, uh, kick panel molding, rocker panel molding, whatever you want to call it, uh, on both sides. And it's both, both sides are distortion free. There's no dents in it, uh, no bends or deviations or whatsoever that I could detect in it. Really nice as can be. It does have a right hand mirror, which is a great addition. Uh, to any vehicle and it matches that side correct for the 69 model year. Trim around the front window, base of the windshield, everything just as sweet as you'd ever want to find. I can't imagine you could find a nicer fitting uh, trim around the windshield than that. Front door to the front fender, absolutely spot on. Camaro SS. Again, wood to cowl to fender. Very, very nice. Very nice. Wheel lip molding. Same way, no dinghies. Front fascia panel to the front fender, as nice as you'd ever want to have. 
uh, again, 350 designation. I think this is going to go back. Instead of us moving that one out, we're going to move this one back just a hair. I think that's the way we're going to address that. Anyway, we just went over this whole car. There are no chips. There are no dents. Um, there's no imperfections really in this paint. It's, it, it approaches the quality of a show car paint-wise. It, 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 it's that deep and that lustrous, and it's laid on in such a uniform manner that there's no fading or no uh, cloudiness whatsoever to the uh, metallic in the paint. Somebody did an exemplary job of painting this guy. Uh, it really looks good. It's missed an antenna. I guess we'll have to put an antenna mast on it. Um, nice car. Uh, it is a, a great color combination. It's rally green, white stripes, black in. It has the upgraded interior in it, which we'll shoot, see here uh, shortly. 69 Camaro is like one of the most sought after cars on the market. Uh, everyone likes 67, 68, and 69, but 69's garner a lot more attention than the other two uh, previous years. Uh, this particular car is a great example of that type of uh, vehicle. Uh, it's a great color combination. It is a three pedal car, which is, in this case, it's not a four speed. It's actually a five speed Tremec in this guy. So you got a 350 or at least a 350. It could be 355, 358. Who knows? 383, I don't know. But it is a small block. It runs fine. Um, car's just a nice, beautiful, well lined up. Uh, exemplary painted 69 uh, Camaro. It's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida and it's just one of a few uh, 69 Camaros that we do have available. We even have one at a convertible for you to give some consideration to. Uh, but like I say, we do have a few of these vehicles and uh, uh, this one happens to really stick out because of the paint job on it. There's no way that you can hide that car in a parking lot. I don't care what you do with it unless you cover it up. Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, interior of our uh, Rally Green 69 Camaro. Um, good looking car. Drum tight. Dome light that works. Again, we pointed out no uh, cracks or, or uh, uh, distortions or whatsoever. Uh, warps to the uh, padded dash on this particular vehicle. Does have the correct SS style steering wheel in it with the uh, three split spokes on it. Um, gas gauge, clock, speedometer. Someone has added a quadrant of uh, oil pressure temp, amp, and uh, what the heck is it? They put a fuel gauge down there too. A little confusing. They have a fuel gauge down no, they have a fuel pressure gauge down there. That's what it is. You've got a fuel gauge in the dash, fuel pressure gauge down here, voltmeter, uh, oil pressure, and water temperature. So that's what they've done. They gave you a little bit more information than you really need. Hat rack in the back, looking at it from here, is really, really nice. We couldn't see it because of the dark uh, tint in the uh, rear light, but uh, looking from here, it's really nice condition. The uh, side panels in the back are nice. Original cranks on them yet, they still have the uh, yellowed, uh, they're supposed to be clear plastic, but they yellow with age, so they are the correct ones. Uh, the basket weave style uh, interior, which was an upgrade for this, it does have the original um, original molded headrests on it instead of the sewn type. These are the original style. Pretty expensive if you go to find these guys and buy them. Uh, again, the basket weave on the bucket seats in the front, nice console. Uh, Glove compartment there, you got a uh, glove compartment in the dash. Uh, aftermarket radio, I don't know what kind it is, but it looks like a fairly high dollar radio that's in this vehicle. Um, the hardware on the doors is nice and bright chrome yet, just as nice as you'd want. Armrests are nice and they're still the molded style that uh, should be correct for the vehicle. The door panels themselves are very, very nice condition. Um, very nice original style condition. Uh, nice black carpeting. It, it's, it appears to be fresh carpeting. Um, I think the, the uh, seats have been reupholstered front and back uh, and repadded. It has a nice uh, uh, pad to this uh, driver's seat and you can see the uh, passenger seat the same way. And I think they installed new carpeting at the same time. I'm going to call the uh, door panels and the rear panels original. Uh, nice nice uh, overall condition of this car. Uh, sun visors, uh, real nice condition yet. They're not coming apart on the seams at all. 
I don't see anything on this uh, interior that's a negative. It, uh, it's a nice car inside. There's nothing that I can uh, uh, say negative. There's a couple of uh, aftermarket uh, look like higher end speakers that are in your kick panels. And I'm going to guess that there's probably a couple in the back, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, just a nice, clean, clean interior uh, for a great colored car. Can't find anything much nicer than really green and white. And uh, we have it here at Hangsters. Take a look at this one. Okay, we're in our 69 Camaro, really green. Um, let's see what we got. Well, we got a speedometer. I know it works. It's got better work anyway. A clock that does not work. There, gee, there's a surprise. Um, gas gauge that uh, shows us just about a half a tank. And some type of a high end radio that's trying to do something there. I'm not sure exactly what, but trying to do something. Water temperature, I'm sure, is going to work. It's going to be coming up. You can see the oil pressure is functioning. 14 volts of uh, charge on the vehicle. The fuel pressure is not functioning, um, which is an auxiliary gauge. Most cars don't have a fuel pressure gauge, but this particular one apparently does. Uh, horn. Horn does not work. Wait a minute. Horn works. Wipers. Wipers are functioning just the way they should. Turn signal left functioning as it should. Turn signal right. Okay, we should be a good to go here. Go for a little jaunt in our little Rally Green Camaro. is a little jumpy. We may have to address that. <coughs> it is jumpy. Uh, tracks down the road real nice though. Uh, no hands on the wheel and it tracks just as nice as uh, nice as you want. Let's see the stops with no hands. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Jesus, it's been a hell of a day here. Every time I go to stop or something on my back bumper. about this car, with this color combination, there's no way in the world you'll go unnoticed. Pulls real well, feels like a good 350, just the way it should. Uh, water temperature's coming up just as though it should, but not over, overly high. Uh, oil pressure's nice and high, just the way it should be. Nice running car, nice tight car. Uh, goes down the road well, uh, doesn't wander. Nice tight car. We have to address that speedometer, though. That's one thing definitely we have to do. Rally Green with White Stripe 69 Camaro SS style car. And I think it is an SS, and I'll show you why. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of new stuff put on this vehicle. Um, Ball joints are all been replaced, new shocks in the front, the uh, sway bar in the front is a heavy duty sway bar which would be indicative of a, uh, an SS car. The um, tie red ends are the lubricant type and uh, they all appear to be fresh, real nice, the rubber uh, pockets around them are real nice. The uh, 
starter on it. It's a conventional starter, not a gear reduction, but it's in excellent condition and it is as new. Looks like it's just been recently re, uh, uh, replaced. A little tiny bit of a crease on the oil pan here. Somebody got a little close to the rack or something when they were pulling it on. Um, our headers real nice and clean. There's no uh, uh, scale or anything on them. Front disc brakes appears to be new calipers. The rotors are nice fat rotors on it. Backing plates are still uh, they're not corroded or distorted in any way. The uh, steel fender panels, no one's made any attempt to jack it up on those or the uh, rocker panels, thank God. Uh, the spot weld still evident on the bottoms of the fenders and the bottoms of the rocker panels. Three inch collectors going into three inch primary tubes. Uh, Tremec five speed transmission in it. Again, no leaks. You can see no leaks on the engine, no leaks on the bell housing area, or no leaks on the transmission or the tail shaft. Uh, subframes in the front are really nice. There's no marks. Uh, there's not even any jack marks or uh, jack stand marks on them. I don't see anything at all. The uh, front, the pans in the front, the original floor pans are still intact and in as new condition. They're really in great condition. You can see where they transition over and are spot welded onto the uh, rocker panels. Again, you know, uh, original rocker panels, really nice uh, uh, undisturbed condition. Oh, uh, let's see, what else we got here? Uh, there's a wire hanging down here, it's on a Tremec uh, 5 speed. It does have a mechanical cable that goes and functions the uh, speedometer, which we're going to have to check because it is bouncing somewhat. It's either the cable needs lubed or the, uh, the gear itself is getting the chip a little bit, but either way we have to address that. This guy is for an electronic uh, speedometer for an aftermarket dashboard. Uh, just it goes onto the pickup coil for the uh, uh, speedometer. Brake lines uh, going toward the back uh, appear to be original brake lines yet on this car. Uh, driver's side, parking brake assembly still original and intact just the way it should be. The brake, um, the um, uh, fuel line is the correct original type equipment fuel line that goes with this vehicle. And if you notice, I don't know if you'll notice in the video or not, but there are two other cables adjacent to it. And what that is, is uh, um, the battery is mounted in the right rear of this vehicle. A little bit of a weight bias to, to uh, uh, compensate for the uh, uh, torque of the vehicle and give you better traction over the right rear wheel. Uh, that's the purpose of it, but it also balances the car out some. Uh, again, the floor pans are just totally not a mark. There's no jack marks on them, no dents, no deviations, uh, absolutely nothing. Three inch pipes go into two and I'm going to call them two and a half inch pipes. They go into two turbo mufflers. Uh, again, you can see the floor pans in this vehicle are just totally undisrupted. No leakage whatsoever on the Tremec or the bell housing or the engine. Uh, the engine's been out and uh, recently done. <coughs> um, uh, there's nothing I can tell you negative on this one. Uh, uh, I can't see where anything's ever been repaired or replaced, uh, nor does it need any type of attention in any way. It's uh, just as nice as can be. Uh, looks like a newer U-joint. <coughs> Tough to keep bending and looking up like this and trying to talk. Um, nice undercarriage so far. I mean, I don't see anything at all that's uh, uh, out of place for this vehicle. It, uh, it really looks like a great representation of a 69, uh, 69 Camaro. Uh, we'll do the second half here and see if we can uh, find something that's a, a miss there. Okay, second half of our Camaro 69, um, Rally Green. Uh, turbo mufflers, as we stated, uh, two and a half inch pipes going into them. And I'm going to call them uh, two and an eighth coming out of them. Normally on a 69 you would see the pipes go out the back and they would be slash cut uh, stainless extensions. These are put on like a 67 or 68 and this person chose to dump them out uh, about a foot behind the rear wheel, about in the middle of the uh, bottom of the uh, um, rear quarter panels. Uh, it, it, personal preference, I guess. Uh, staggered shock rear end, which is another indication of an SS Camaro. Multi-leaf suspension, another indication. 12-bolt heavy-duty rear end, another indication. Everything shows SS Camaro. Um, 
a real expensive set of traction bars that are adjustable and have hive joints on both ends so that you do have a lot of flexibility with them. A little bit different than the Lakewood setup. Still serve the same purpose. Uh, these are a little bit more of a rigid mount and certainly a lot more expensive, a better, uh, well, I don't know if it's better design, it's a, it's a little more complex design, but it's also an adjustable system. So you can uh, compensate for the uh, uh, torque twist on the rear axle however much you want. Uh, really great looking uh, car so far. The uh, floor pans in the back are just the way they are on the rest of this vehicle. You can see there's absolutely no dents, no nothing, absolutely no deviations. Uh, torque boxes in front of the springs where they mount to the uh, rear subframes. Uh, again, no marks on the subframes themselves, even up where they transition over the uh, uh, rear differential. There's absolutely no, uh, no marks, no deterioration, no attempt at any point to jack it up or distort them in any way. Um, all the cables, your parking brake cables, uh, everything's still intact just the way it should be. Drop downs in the quarter panels are just as sweet as you'd ever want to find. They look to be all original. Uh, even the crimps across the back of the uh, uh, rear panel, the rear valance, is just still just the way it was from the factory. Gas tank is the original gas tank in the vehicle, uh, painted semi-flat black or flat black like the, uh, the rest of this uh, car is underneath, but uh, uh, I don't see anything. I mean, this, this car, uh, we just went over it, Devin's going to show you a bunch of uh, high resolution uh, still photographs of what we just tried to address during this uh, uh, presentation, but uh, it's a vehicle that uh, you can see from the pictures and this presentation that really doesn't require any attention. It's a, <clears throat> it's a vehicle that's as nice as... To, and I did not mention these. It does have a set of cutouts on it, which if you want to run it, say you go to the strip with this car and you do want to run open headers, uh, you can pretty much do the same thing by taking these uh, caps off and it will alleviate any back pressure from the remainder of the exhaust system. So it's kind of an open header system. Um, not quite as good as it is with dumping them off of the three inch dumps, but it does a pretty good, uh, pretty good job of it. Uh, but anyway, you can see underneath the car that uh, everything on it is just the way it should be. There's no dense uh, uh, areas that have been addressed previously uh, or that need to be addressed at this point. This, uh, uh, oh, I, forgot, I almost forgot how this messed up. Um, rear disc brakes also. We got discs in the front. But we got discs in the rear of this guy too. Uh, very, very unusual to find a set of uh, uh, discs in the rear. And these discs have a functional parking brake, which is really unusual. We've had a few of these cars and they just do not have a parking brake uh, assembly for the uh, rear brakes. And these, these do. And these are discs and it has a functional parking brake. So you kind of got the best of everything, uh, 12 volt rear. I feel it's a real SS car. We don't have any documentation for it, but everything is indicative of an SS car. It's here at Hangster's Daytona Beach.